When the oil spill happened, like everyone else, the panic, concern, ran out, went and bought a lot of seafood, loaded up the refrigerator with it, decided I was going to eat some delicious oysters while the sun was setting and drink a beer. So my husband and I bought some oysters, <laughs> shut them open, and as the sun was hitting on the shell of the oyster, I noticed this glistening and I thought, wow, look how beautiful. Why hasn't anyone ever cut gem material from this oyster? And I've wondered and thought, I said, hmm, let's give it a try. Of course, my husband went, oh, here she goes again. So we went at it and we cut and we cut. And then when we polished it, it was incredible, the luster, the vitreous luster that it produced. And then the different shades, that beautiful white, like a mother of pearl look to gold bands and swirls that you saw throughout the gemstone. So it's a, now it's a new derived gemstone that came from the Crass Austria Virginsica mollusk, which is the most important mussel mollusk oyster to the United States, which is predominantly found in the Gulf of Mexico, but mostly off the coast of Louisiana. So what better name to give it than La Perlite? When you have something in rich culture that is so important to a community, to a group of people, um, we're so uniquely different, as you know, down here in the South, you know, that um, we treasure our things that we have, that we share with the world. And one of them is the oyster, um, which we supply um, most of the United States with our wonderful oysters. And the reason, one of the reasons why it tastes so wonderful is because of our brackish waters, the mixture of the salt and the fresh water combined. There is no other oyster like it. And that's what also makes the shell, the valve of that oyster so unique to be able to capture that in the gemstone, in the perlite. And that's what you can see in these stones. But each one is different, very different, just like a human fingerprint or an eye, a person's eye. Just like the community and all of the South, we are very special and unique people, and so are the La Perlites. Each one is unique to the person who owns one, who can capture one and have one to themselves.